Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing Today we're going to be doing a tag called the If I Owned a Makeup Brand tag. Now I have to say, 2020 is about a month and a half in, and there are already so many brands doing so many foolish things that I think we're now in a point where we just need to like imagine <laughs> a better place and some better brands. And so you know what? Why not? Why not? This tag was originally created by Vicky Vlogs, and I saw this tag first on Lisa Lobotomy's channel. So I'll have both of their videos and both of their channels linked down below. Please make sure you check out both of them. I personally love Lisa's channel. I've been following her for a bit. Vicky is a new channel to me, but I've definitely been checking out her videos, and I love supporting smaller creators. So this tag has, I'm not even going to count this, there's questions. There's this number of questions here sue me <laughs> and i just want to jump right in but first okay so my makeup look it's definitely more e-girl a bit more editorial than usual i had so much fun doing this the video should already be up this is mainly a look inspired by curtis waters new song freckles and the album art for that video so make sure you check out that video i'll have it linked up in the cards and down below as well the only thing i changed for here i just filmed that video so i just changed my lip color i changed it from the coral to the black because i wanted this aesthetic for this video so question number one is what would your pricing be like luxury high mid and or drugstore i personally okay so i'm gonna approach these questions if i were a bajillionaire and money was no question and i could literally just create whatever i wanted my prices would be as affordable as i could make them like i would want them to be like between drugstore and shop miss a prices because there have been brands who have come out with bomb products and I've proven that you can have good products for a low price point and that's what I want. I want it to be accessible. I think that brands are ex that are expensive for the sake of luxury or for a, a tag, it's bullshit. Because I'm not gonna like overgeneralize here but a lot of luxury makeup brands, the makeup sucks and you're really only buying it because it's got like X brand on it like like most of the luxury world <laughs> does uh, but my pricing I would want it to be really affordable and not affordable in like oh forty dollars for a palette no I want it to be between shop miss a and drugstore prices question number two is what would the theme slash aesthetic be edgy food themed girly <sighs> okay so I thought about this for a long time <laughs> way too long to be honest but this is kind of how I want the aesthetic to be I love like the edge of like kind of gothic but I definitely don't do like super goth looks but I love the like the deep kind of gothic ish look made girly so what I picture in my head is if you took like Besame cosmetics and you smushed it together with lunatic labs cosmetics that's kind of like my ideal aesthetic. I want it to be like dark and kind of grungy, but also really girly. Kind of like my look today. Like that's what my ideal would be. Question number three is what would your color scheme slash packaging be like? Honestly, I love the like fanciness of the Besame Cosmetics palettes and their packaging and everything. So just take that and change the color scheme to black and white. Maybe a little bit of brown, but mainly black and white. I love the look of like a good solid like black and white theme. Question number four is if you had to compare yourself to an existing brand, who would it be? I already answered that. <laughs> Besame Cosmetics, Lunatic Labs, smush them together. Next question is how often would you release products? Now I would only really want to do like actual collections. I don't want to be color pop and throw, you know, products out every week. I think three times a year. You want the holidays, so like November, December. You want a nice spring collection, and then I would have to do a fall collection. I love fall. I would make a big production out of fall every year because I love it. So that would be my timeline. Three times a year, and each one would be new products, palettes, lipsticks, highlighters, everything. Again, answering these questions from the perspective that I am a bajillionaire and can do whatever I want. Next question is, what do you want to be known for? Highlight, eyeshadow, brushes, etc. Hmm, I would want to say lipsticks and eyeshadow because of, like for me, if I were literally to create my own brand, I would want there to be like a solid lipstick line, an amazing black lipstick, 
a gorgeous red lipstick. Like I would want to focus on lipsticks because that's kind of what I've been really focusing a lot on and I, I just think lipsticks are so universal too. But then after that, eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow. Like, I don't even know where I would begin to create my ideal eyeshadow palette, but I would have so much fun doing it. <laughs> so much. <sighs> my battery's about to die. I'm gonna keep going until it cuts off. Let's, let's do that. The next question is, what would your first eyeshadow palette launch look like? Uh, see, I, I don't even know because there's so many options. I would want, ideally, green palette. I know not everyone likes green eyeshadows. I love green eyeshadows. I'm not wearing anything green today, but I think that's probably the first thing I would do. A really nice, bright, deep, grungy green palette. Maybe it wouldn't be all green. Maybe I would do a row of neutrals at the top so that you can kind of blend things in or maybe neutral that are more green leaning. I don't know, like I, <laughs> that's probably never gonna happen, but that's what I would want. I want it to be a green palette and that'd be my first release. And then on top of that, I'd probably do lipsticks for the next release. The next question is your dream collab, a celeb or influencer and why? Oh, okay, so if I had my brand, my brand was doing well, my dream collab, I would wanna collab with uh, Taylor Wynn because she's like my favorite YouTuber and I love her channel and her, back in the day, her black and white aesthetic was literally everything. I would either want to collab on a lipstick or a foundation. Could you imagine collabing with Taylor Wynn on a foundation? Like a huge shade range, just... <sighs> that's. I think that would be it. I would want to collab with Taylor on a foundation. Wouldn't that be cool? The next question, ooh, we're getting, we're getting into it. Uh, how would you handle a scandal? Jaclyn Cosmetics, for example. Well, first of all, I wouldn't pull any of the foolishness that these other brands are pulling because really, again, I'm looking at this from the perspective that I have literally a bajillion dollars and don't have to do any of their shady shit, but they're pulling shady shit so they can have a higher profit margin at the end of the day. By making the products affordable and by, I probably have to be doing it only online only because I don't know if I could still make them affordable and have them in like a Ulta or Sephora, but I think it's a later question, so we'll get to that later. I think if I were to actually fuck up something, I would admit to it. I would be like, hey, here's what happened. Here's what we did. Here's what we're going to be doing to fix it. Please, here is our customer service. Please reach out. We will do everything we can to fix it because it's my brand and it's my name and, you know, everything's on the line. So I would do everything I could to be transparent and fix the problem. But I would also approach this from the perspective that we don't want to have those issues. We are going to be doing thorough testing throughout the process. We will be sending out uh, PR. I think that's the next question. We will be having PR sent out a bit earlier, I think, because we would want some feedback and then we would want to work in feedback. I'd, on top of the PR, I would want to do like further testing, like actually bring people in and do a focus group and do several focus groups kind of like that. So I would be doing that as well. Do Basically, you want to do your due diligence to make sure that you can do your best to avoid these things. But I, And I feel like a lot of the quick fast fashion makeup brands now are skipping a lot of the steps in order to get products out and to make more money and i would not do that so our next question is how would you distribute pr i would honestly have to like talk to a team to figure out how it's normally done but i would definitely not do like those bs pr searches which they're great for um like marketability you get a bunch of free advertising right but i don't like the way that they're done. I don't like that you're really forcing smaller creators, independent creators to basically shill themselves to get a chance at a spot on your line. Personally, I would not want to give PR to the big people who do this on YouTube for a career because they've got money. I'm not going to sell out to send them products to have them say whatever the fuck they want. No, anyone, I mean, the biggest YouTuber that I like is at like 800,000 subscribers, so I would not send to anyone bigger than that. Since I am in the YouTube community, since I have so many friends here, I would probably do my own research. I would have to spend the time going through the channels. I would want to focus on medium to small channels, which is basically anyone under 50k. I would look through my subscriptions. I would look through 
you know, kind of the aesthetic that I'm looking at. I, I would look up black lipstick videos, see who's doing those. I would look up green eyeshadow videos, see who's really looking at those. And I really don't care about size. If you're pr like passionate about the type of product that I'm going to come out with, that's who I want to send PR to. Like I said, if you're really into black lipsticks, I would send you my black lipsticks and the whole collection. If you're really into green eyeshadow, you're who I want to review the green eyeshadow palette. I would give you that. So that's kind of the way that I would pr approach it. Again, from the perspective that I'm a bajillionaire <laughs> and this is my dream, you know, company. And the last question is, would you rather be sold in Ulta or Sephora? And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say Ulta. The Sephora, everyone knows, the Sephora Rewards program sucks, and it's apparently going to be getting even worse. But I think with my price point and with what I want to aim for, I think Ulta would just be a better fit. How cute would it be to see, like, my brand with a, in a little bay in Ulta? I'm probably never going to do this. Like, I really don't want to come out with, like, my own makeup and shit. I would definitely do a collab. I would love to do a collab with a reputable brand. But this is just kind of, you know my fantasy and how great would it be to see that display so that is everything thank you guys so much for watching this tag video make sure you check out the this up <laughs> look that i did based on the freckles music video i'll have that linked down below and make sure you check out lisa's channel and vicky's channel also linked down below thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye Thank you.